Guys, we are back with another instructional video for the Club Car Precedent, and today we have this Club Car Precedent throttle, throttle pedal brake, whatever assembly you want to call it. Got this right off of Amazon, so we will hook you guys up with the link for that. But today, we're going to be showing you how to install this on Supercar Street Racing. Out here in the Supercar Street Racing Garage and the very first step of this process is to remove the mat. Okay, for the next step here, mine is a little bit strange because I have this brake pedal switch right here that connects. But the next step is to pull out this little area here and it has one of those little Christmas tree things on it. Set that to the side. And you can see here the brake assembly that we're gonna have to disconnect here in a little bit. But on my cart, we also have to remove this extra brake switch. All right, so we just have two crescent wrenches here. And all we have to do is loosen this guy. And I think it's going to be this way.
Now that we have the brake disconnected, we can go ahead and remove the pedal assembly from the cart. And that is that. It is out. On to the next step. We are back in the nice air conditioning in the Supercar Street Racing kitchen. And as you can see, this guy does not come with another one of these rods. So we have to trade this rod out. And we don't want to lose that, but I saw where it fell. So we're literally just going to take out this old one here. And put it right through. Yeah, it's easier said than done because I dropped the nut. I think these are all reverse threads. So that would usually be tight. It is reverse threaded. And we do have a problem right here, and that is that a bunch of these screws have broken off. So when we put this back in, we are gonna have to actually drill and probably use some uh, self-tapping screws right there to get this thing done. But we are ready to put the new assembly right back in. Need a towel to kneel on. I don't get this does not come with a new rheostat. So we have to remove this one with a Torx. Or is it a, oh, forgot to put the Torx uh, head on there. That would help, huh? Simple as that, it should come right off, but I don't want to take it off until I have the other one right next to it so I know how it goes back on. I don't know if there's another connection to something here, but I see it clearly on the other one. I just lost the only Torx bolt I have left. Okay, I can't tell how this comes off. Okay, it just literally slides right out. Um, pretty dirty, I'm gonna go ahead and wash this all up and degrease it, it just slides right out literally. There's no way to get it wrong. Got the old Rio stack cleaned up. Get that out of the way. Got the 
brand new part just like the old part was oriented. I think. This is harder than I thought to get back on. I mean, I think it's in there. right can't tell if it's turning or not but I think that's right okay now we have our Rio set reconnected and transferred over and these can only go in one way can't mess them up and they have those anti-water dealies
Just ran down to Ace Hardware and picked up some self-tapping screws to finish off the pedal assembly. Uh, three out of the four, well actually all four were jacked up to the point where I couldn't save them. So I drilled and used one of the old self-tappers and then I bought some more to finish off the other three which we'll have to drill out here shortly. But yeah, just a little update, just ran in Ace Hardware, so yeah, that's what's up now. All right, we are back from Ace Hardware and we picked up some self-tapping bolts. The trick here. I think these will be fine. They have the same head as the other ones. Let's see if those will go in. That worked perfect. I have to drill out this other side though. And I broke all these drill bits. Oh, it's just plastic. It's just plastic or either, or either there is metal down below there. Yeah, I think there's metal below it. If not, we'll use the bigger ones. Yeah, didn't do anything. That one won't either. We might have to use the big ones on this. Oh. They sold me one of the wrong one. Oh, that won't do anything. This one might. That back one. This one might go in, that back one is not going in. It's a way bigger hole. This one might go, maybe not. That one went, that back one's not going in. It's uh, way too stripped out. But that's not going anywhere. All right, that part is done. I'm gonna call it good with three bolts in there. Guys, we got our new brake pedal in and it fits right over the old one after I was so dumb and couldn't figure out that you have to take the old plastic thing off. But I don't like the way the wire is going to be showing here. So I think what I'm going to do is notch out this uh, little cover plate here so that the wire can run under that and down through. And of course my light goes off every time I come out here. Ugh! What I was saying is I don't want my wire showing here. So I think this little plastic plate under here, if I just pull it off and notch it out, the wire can run behind it because there's a space back there, I think. Yeah, there is a space back there. So I'm gonna just take this off real quick and notch it out. And hopefully it can go back on and the wire will run behind it instead of like over the top here. You guys will see once I get a better idea of how I'm gonna do this. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is drill a hole right through there, literally right where my finger is and pass the wire right through and behind if I can yeah and then underneath it I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna work on to getting that done now okay I did find a way to route the cable behind the pedal and underneath I will have to extend it though I'm pretty sure so I am gonna go ahead and mark off right here and drill a hole right there 
and I'm going to have to go through both the plastic and the metal. So let's see if I can actually get, sorry I wasn't even on it. Let's see if I can actually get a drill bit to go through there and it is going to have to accommodate the wiring. And on the end, it will either have to accommodate this. I think I can get these through there one at a time, hopefully. Yeah, it looks like I can. So it's got to be at least that wide to get through there. So let's grab a drill bit and get to drilling. If I didn't break them all yesterday. I know. Every time you touch it, it turns on. All right. Let's see what we got in here that matches. And I think maybe this one will be perfect. Let's see. Either that or we just cut the wire and put new ends on it. Probably the best thing to do is just cut it and re-solder and heat shrink ends on it afterwards. Um, like go ahead and extend it right now. Probably the best thing to do. And then we don't have to really put a super thick wire through the hole. We can drill it out smaller. So let me see what I got for wiring. All right, my plan right here and right now is to just cut off the ends of this and then extend it with this cheap little speaker wire that I have. Um, the problem being the speaker wire is very thin, so I'm gonna probably have to double up the ends in order to get our Tcon uh, shrink wrap, uh, not shrink wrap, solder connectors on it. I brought everything I need in here to do this connection. So what I'm gonna do from the very beginning is cut off these worthless, you don't need bullet connectors. You're not gonna be taking off your brake pedal I don't know why they, they do it like that. I guess if you ever have to service it, I don't know.
I'm going to attempt to drill through this. Wait, no. Take that right to the back. Okay, slow down. Oh. Oh, I can't do that. Nope. That's right, it's plastic. Okay, that's not work. Don't think that's not work. That's a quick symbol back there. Yeah, no. Shoot, it's like right on the edge of it. That sucks. Oh, man. All right, well, I gotta get over here. update from the garage here I did get the wiring run behind there I need to tuck this in a little bit better but yeah the wire is run nice underneath the pedal right there it goes behind the pedal and then underneath like that and then what we will do now is just tie this up really nice to the brake pedal and leave a little slack so it can move and then get this tied in right there. So that's next on the list. All right guys, a little update from out here in the garage. I got the brake wire ran to the back and underneath, and I might have already done this update, but the next step is to actually zip tie the brake wire line to the actual brake thingy here, whatever it's called. Give a little slack right there and then do the connection. So I'm going to do that now.
This project is completely done. We have replaced the brake and accelerator pedal assembly on the 2014 Club Car Precedent. Looking so fresh and fly, and then we wiped it down, and it looks great. And now the actual parking brake works again. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please thumbs up, subscribe, buy from our affiliate links in the description, and we will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.